All right, so we have this green machine. Doesn't it look great? Look at this thing. Carbon fiber, green stitch. What do you guys think? It's pretty badass. Good for, we'll say 1200 RMS, three inch copper coil. Moves a lot too. So here's the TL spawn parameters. So of course that's the series, they're dual four. I have a pair. Let me show you the other one. Oh, oh, it's gravity. See, all I did was use a little acetone to take that off. Just rub it away. Then took the sticker off. Nice cast frame. Big spider. It's a little stiff. Um, some of the initial um, uh, FS, the resonant frequency we were getting was uh, in the upper 30s. And then after a little bit of stretching, uh, it settled down to about 34, 33. Um, so what I'm going to do is all I did was, uh, uh, put, this is the, the cap that they put on there, which whatever, I don't, I don't prefer it. That's all. Um, but I, I do appreciate that they made this subwoofer cause it's a great subwoofer. It just is a little ugly on the, on the decal and gravity is a, a boss brand. So, um, it may not have the best reputation. So selling it may be a little difficult. So, uh, what I would actually recommend is adding a little bit of mass here with like an epoxy ring. This also helps secure this as the inner cap. Um, I would also probably cover this whole thing with epoxy. Uh, number one, to keep your secret um, so that they can't see the logo. Uh, number two, again, to add mass. So, and then the cap that I used was just our carbon fiber, 180 millimeter um, dust cap, which I'm, we're, it's on sale right now for 20 bucks shipped. And, uh, and then you're good to go. These are, they end up being about $134, $140 each, but they sell them in pairs. Uh, and then, uh, I, I'll, I'll probably retail this one for, I'll ask 350 each as a JL audio 12 W seven alternative. And then I'll even back them up with a three year warranty. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. So that's 700 pair. And then what I'll do is I'll settle for no less than six. And then, uh, there's, I see the box out of the corner of my eye right there. I'll pair them up in that little fucker. So, and we can do it under the Jizlama brand or uh, just put a robot head or just nothing. So, but uh, that's it. Oh, so yeah. So that's my review on the gravity. What is called? the war? What is this? Whorehammer GW 12 D4 war zone. The gravity war zone. It's not 3000 Watts, but I like that. It has the, 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 the bumped vent uh, and the, it's vented here and here in the butthole. Uh, it's vented under the spider very, very well. The tinsels are sewn and, no, they're not sewn, they're threaded. That means they go above and below the spider, which if this was a regular, like say four spoke frame, I would be a little weary of because uh, on the if it had a, a short downstroke, uh, they might arc out on the top plate. So, but this one looks like it has plenty of clearance. And then one of the ways that they use to control the um, excursion is just use um, a shallow motor, which is nice. It has this little bump. So it, it actually moves a little bit more than you think. Um, and then, uh, they probably use just a 40 millimeter coil, uh, for, to control the, the excursion. So that means it'll, it'll, it'll get only so far and then you can't make it go any further. So, um, I think that was it. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Uh, happy thanks Friday. God damn gonzo, whatever. Jizz, jizz it up. It's the weekend.